Hi everyone, I'm Stat. In this video, we'll be talking about the best gun in Destiny 2, Anarchy. Anarchy is an extremely unique and powerful weapon, and is very important in a wide range of endgame content. Anarchy used to be really hard to get, but these days it's a lot easier, and you can even get it as a solo player. But before we talk about that, let's go over why this grenade launcher is so powerful. Anarchy works a bit differently than other grenade launchers. They do this. But Anarchy does this. That is, Anarchy's grenades stick to surfaces and damage anything that comes near them, rather than exploding like other grenade launchers. But that's not the true power of this weapon. Its true power is doing this. The grenades don't just stick to surfaces, they also connect to each other if they're close enough. And then they produce these little beams of arc energy. Anything that comes into contact with this web of energy takes serious damage. You can use this behavior to spawn trap enemies if you know when they're going to spawn in. The grenades stick around for a while, so if you study the activity that you're in, you can figure out situations where you know what triggers cause the enemies to spawn and first lay down some anarchy. They won't even know what hit them. Grenades can also stick to enemies. This works fantastically against things like bosses, which are often very large and have a ton of health. There's only one thing you need to know here though. Only stick two anarchy shots at a time to any one enemy. More won't do extra damage, so you'll just be wasting ammunition if you do. These effects are extremely powerful, and few weapons in the game have them, but to have them all in one package is what makes anarchy so fantastic. Damage over time is very strong in Destiny. It's good against bosses, it's good against champions, it's good against adds, it's just good. I can't say enough good things about this weapon. So how do you actually get an Anarchy? Well, you used to have to complete an entire raid and then pray that you get Anarchy as a drop at the final boss. Sound familiar? These days though, you can purchase your Anarchy from the Monument to Lost Lights kiosk. Anarchy has a pretty steep price. One exotic cipher, 150,000 glimmer, 240 spoils of conquest, two ascendant shards. You can get the cipher from Xur on any given weekend, and you can pick up glimmer in almost every activity in the game. Ascendant shards are able to be earned from your season pass. You can buy them from Banshee44, who's just around the corner from the kiosk, or you can earn them from high-level nightfalls. The actual difficult currency here is the spoils of conquest. This resource can only be earned from raids. The good news is that you can still get these spoils as a solo Destiny player, even though it's from a raid. You see, in the Deepstone Crypt, the very first secret chest will give you 10 spoils. You can get this chest by yourself. It takes a bit of practice, but once you've done it a few times, it's a lot easier. You can do this once per week per character, so that's up to 30 spoils per week, meaning it would take you two months until you can pick up an Anarchy. It takes time and commitment, you can totally do it. This is how I got my Anarchy. I ran this chest over and over again on every character every week. You can also get even more spoils by actually completing the raid, so if you've got a bunch of friends, you can speed this process up or find a group on LFG. Also, the second secret chest is technically achievable solo as well, but it relies on bugs and Bungie keeps patching them. I'm not going to cover that in this video because I don't want this information to go out of date, but if you want it in one month, not two, and you can't find a group, do some research on whatever the latest method is and totally give it a shot. Here's how you get the chest solo. found it. The deep stone crypt. The birthplace of the Exo. And a prison for something sinister. Her followers intend to make use of it. To unleash a chaos they do not understand. Their success means untamed power beyond their wildest dreams. They must be stopped.
So there you have it. That's what you need to know about the best gun in the game, which is, it's actually a grenade launcher, I guess, technically, those they're still guns. So I'd appreciate it if you'd like this video and maybe check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching.